A pump is increasing the water pressure from atmospheric at sea level at the inlet to 1150 kilopascals at the outlet. Water enters this pump at 15 degrees Celsius through a 2 cm diameter opening and exits through a 3.5 cm diameter opening. If the mass flow rate through the pump is 0.6 kg per second, what is the velocity of the water at the inlet and at the outlet? Do these velocities change significantly if the inlet temperature is raised to 40 degrees Celsius? As always, try solving this problem yourself before watching the solution. This is the third example for the volumetric and mass flow rates main lecture video. The links to that 8 minute video, the other examples for this topic and the other lectures of the thermodynamics course are found in the description below. Since the mass flow rate is equal to velocity times area over specific volume, the velocity is equal to mass flow rate times specific volume over area. We can write the area in terms of the diameter, and since we have the diameter and the mass flow rate, all that's left is looking up the specific volume of compressed liquid water at 15 degrees Celsius. We make use of what we learned in the compressed liquid properties main lecture video, link below, to state that the specific volume of compressed water at a specific pressure and temperature can be assumed to be the specific volume of a saturated liquid at that temperature, meaning Vf at 15 degrees Celsius. We substitute that value and find that the velocity at the inlet is 1.92 meters per second. Since the mass flow rate coming in is the same as that coming out, we write this in terms of our three variables on both sides, realize that the liquid is incompressible and therefore the specific volumes are the same, and solve for the velocity at the exit. We substitute the diameter values and the velocity for the inlet to find the velocity at the exit. Now if the temperature were 40 degrees Celsius, the only value that changes is the specific volume for water. It goes from 0 0.001001 to 0 0.001008. The values for VI and VE would change to 1.925 and 0 0.628 meters per second. Depending on the application, the changes can be assumed to be negligible. Notice that by assuming that the specific volume of compressed water for a specific pressure and temperature is the specific volume of saturated liquid water at that temperature, we don't use the pressure information here. We've covered this topic in the compressed liquid properties 6 minute video if you want to check that out. If you want to watch some other examples on this topic or the other lectures of the thermal cores or the other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.